Southampton's junior wardens have been out in force again, doing their bit to try and perk up the city. This time, Bitten was the scene as they dug, planted, painted and generally enjoyed playing their part in a community day. Our reporter Ben Treppers joined the team as they got to work. With the joint aim of sprucing up a part of the city, as well as celebrating all that's positive about the Bitten local community, the Southampton Junior Neighbourhood Warden set about with gusto, helping to run an afternoon of fun activities, treasure hunts, pot planting and jewellery making, to name but just a few of the opportunities on offer for families in the area. The day also provided a platform for local practical advice and help projects to spread their word from healthy eating to reading groups. The warden's coordinator Ian Mitchell explained what such a day provides for those young people involved. I think it's, it's offering pride in the community from the from the juniors' point of view. So getting them involved in something local for them. So a lot of the kids that have been involved from the junior warden scheme today are local children. Um, so that 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 sort of pride in saying, well, that's ours. We did that, and they walk past it each day. For the residents, it's showing that young people do do positive things in the community. So it's not a negative thing. Young people, young people, um, in a negative connotation. It's you know we are out there doing positive things in the community. Why don't you get involved? Why don't you come and join us and get involved in the day? Throughout the year, the junior neighbourhood wardens can be found providing a little colour or a clean up to areas of the city that need it. Ian explained what brought the team to Bitten. I think the feedback we got initially when I did some consultation in Bitten as to what we would do in Bitten was it was a bit dull. Um, so. Obviously with the, with the work we've been doing with the painting and the planting with the juniors is to brighten that area up. There are plans in the future um, to do some more work in Bitten and hopefully that will be out um, fairly soon. There's some consultation with the public going on today about that. So we're trying to fit in with what hopefully is going to be uh, an ongoing project with Bitten to brighten this area up. Just to make it a more pleasant place to come, a bit brighter, a bit more colourful, a bit more cheerful. Um, and it's been great to be part of that. Councillor Warwick Payne was keen to pay tribute to the work of the junior wardens across Southampton and also touched on what an event like this provides for those associated with the area of Bitten. Make Bitten Better Day is a day where I think that we can be proud of Bitten, we can be proud of Southampton and I was very keen to come along and look at what all the council departments and community groups are doing to come together to make the community better and also to look at making Bitten better in the future. And there are some exciting community plans on show. Bitten already has a thriving community and the fact that with the community events such as this we've got such a good turnout, I think it's testament to that. And it's really a question of speaking to those people and seeing what they would like to be better about the area and improve what we already have. And also it's a day of direct action as well because we've got the junior neighbourhood wardens who are fantastic credit to the city who are also doing some work such as putting in a new community garden and also painting some of the walls to make them brighter. Ben Treppers for that soap.